Hey everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share my latest collaboration with Scraps and Things One. Hi Misha. I'm going to post a link below this video to her channel so you can head on over, check her out, show her some YouTube love, subscribe. Um, but this is a collaboration I do with my friend Misha and they're all Pinterest inspired projects. So she chose Oh no, I had it. <laughs> there we go. She chose for us to do three thread spool photo holders any theme. So this is the one that I saw that totally inspired me. It was posted by Buttons Galore and more. And I'll show you how mine turned out and explain what I did. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial because it's pretty self-explanatory, but I am going to show you what I did with the paper clips to get them in the smaller spool. So I'm going to pull one out here so that I can show you. Okay. So I used um, my script stamp on top of the wood and stamped it with some stays on ink and the paper I used to cover my spools is from the Prima Collection romance novel and I just pretty much used scraps because I got the tiny spools um, in a pack at Hobby Lobby so this is what they look like with photos in it or I have some photos some are not Okay, so you can put all different kinds of sizes on them. If I, I think these would be a great project for um, craft shows, but I would probably make them larger. If you can find the larger thread spools, those would be pretty cool. So, like I said, here's the three of them. And on the tops, I stamped with the script stamp. I used this large metal paper clip and I'll show you on the bottom as you can see it's not going to fit in there so I just took my flat uh, part of my pliers and the bottom piece here and I just went in and I crimped the very bottom a little bit and then you kind of have to adjust this part because it'll end up crooked on you. Kind of bend it back. And then I shoved it in and I used hot glue on the inside. And then once you put it in, you're going to have to straighten this part out because it does get a little crooked. But you'll see if you try it what, what I'm talking about. So that's all I did is kind of crimp the bottom to get it to fit in. And I went with like a vintage sewing theme. So all around the edges I made dots with a black sharpie and then I went and um, just used a little bit of glitter glue and made the dots. This is the paper that I covered it with. And then as you can see in here I used some foam to make it dimensional and I had these cute sewing theme buttons in my stash. So I used a scissor on this one and just a, a button there and then this one I had a dress form and a thread spool there and then that's the paper just kind of turn it slow so y'all can see and then this one this was actually a clip kind of like a paper clip and I cut it a little bit and then I angled it in there and I glued it all the way on the inside so it can kind of just hang out there and then it doesn't interfere with the photo. I thought that kind of looked cute there. And then I handmade a flower, put a pearl there and then I have this thimble button which I, I did put on foam to bring it out and make it look a little dimensional. And then that's the paper. 
I used on that one. So basically you just want to measure, you know, with a ruler how wide this is for when you cut your paper and then wrap it around and glue it and, and decorate them however you like. And like I said, I think these would be awesome for a craft show. I just think I would probably use larger spools or you could decorate the small ones with a large one and make it a set. That would be cute too. Um, it's all up to you. But totally Pinterest inspired and I, we really wanted to try this and it was a lot of fun. And I hope it inspired you to make some too. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching and as you can see my mess over here, I've been putting together some Christmas um, ornament gift tags which I'll be back to share those with you and here's a sneak peek of a new treat box that I designed that I'm going to do a video on shortly so that's what I've been working on lately and a lot of painting I've been painting like crazy and I'll share some of the things I've painted with you guys then too so anyway thanks for watching happy crafting and have a great day